Hey everybody, it's Will Venus. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all? If you're one of my regulars, hey. If you're new here, hey. Hiya. Welcome. So today I thought we'd just do a quick video to let you all know how I'm getting on. And just to let you know, I'm not recording this from prison. <laughs> I just looked at the viewfinder and it looks like I'm viewing from some sort of place of incarceration. <laughs> I'm not. I don't think you would get like a fluffy throw like this in prison. Or maybe you can. Prisons... Well, some of them are really lax these days for uh, quite serious criminals. Anyway, that's a whole different video. So, on to why I've got a new backdrop. Um, I've got a new feature um, coming on my channel that every Sunday at half past seven I will be doing a little dive into some of Coronation Street's most iconic characters it's going to be a series called cobble icons i was having a think to myself the other day and i thought what what do i know a lot about and i came to the conclusion that i, I know a limited amount about mental health um more specifically my own of course i can't speak for anyone else because i'm not a mental health professional i know a lot of information about wigs lace wigs which i have another channel for which is growing but i'll get onto that in just a sec and i know a lot about coronation street and for those who don't know what coronation street is where have you been <laughs> corey's been corey as it's known in the uk in short term has been around for 60 years 60 years of continual drama which is a guinness world record Yes, it's actually a Guinness World Record because it's been over, it's been here for almost, not almost, over 60 years now. And it's past 10,000 episodes spanning from the 60s to the present day. So I know a lot about Corey, so what I will be doing is each Sunday at half past seven, because that's when Coronation Street used to be on when it was on on a Sunday, which I really used to look forward to. It was on before Heartbeat, if anyone remembers that. Because it was half past seven for Coronation Street and then 8pm for Heartbeat, which is another kind of light-hearted um, sort of police drama. But again, I digress. I seem to be doing that a lot these days. I've got a lot of ideas flowing around in my mind. So yeah, every Sunday at half past seven on my channel, there will be a brand new episode of my new series called Cobble Icons. So... If that's something that you're interested in, and if, like me, you're an absolute Coronation Street geek. I'm a proud geek. Very proud geek. I know a lot of information about Cory. I've watched literally thousands of episodes of Cory, be it when it's gone out on TV, or, you know, I've managed to watch them here on YouTube. I've watched thousands. Um, I've got to frequent myself with hundreds if not thousands of characters because we're talking over 60 years here so them yeah there probably is thousands of characters but the more famous ones is probably in the hundreds so there's obviously plenty plenty for me to work through so if you have any of your own favorite characters let me know in the comments and i might feature them on the channel whether it could be hmm oh tracy Tracy Love. Dear Tree. <laughs> I am actually slowly going round the bend. Uh, probably because I'm so happy. But again, I'll get onto that in just a sec. Yeah, that's just one of Coronation Street's characters. If you don't know who Deirdre Barlow is, look her up. She's. Yeah, she's really quite famous in this country. And I suppose in other countries, if you're familiar with Corey, because I suppose you can watch Corey. Wherever you are in the world. Yeah, because yeah, if it's on YouTube, you can see it anywhere in the world. Yeah, so 
yeah, I've got that coming up on my channel. And the reason I've got the backdrop is because the houses that feature on Coronation Street, they're all terraced houses that are all built in, well, they're set in Manchester. And that's what they look like. Uh, also, I've kind of re replicated the, the backdrop because when they used to film Corey, uh, back in quite the early days, they used to have quite drafty backdrops. You know, like if you were seeing a scene that was perhaps filmed as part of their interior shots, so like inside the houses, they would have like backdrops in the studio that would look like what their view on the outside would be. So that's kind of what it's like, and it could get quite drafty in the studio, and you would see this these backdrops flapping around, and you'd wonder, well, if that is actually the outside, brick walls don't actually blow like that. Yeah, again, it's like a British thing. Quarry is a British institution, and hopefully by me sharing these videos, I will um, be able to familiarise some more of the British traditions, actually. Um, I've never lived in Manchester, but I can do quite a, can do quite a good Mancunian accent, I think. But it depends on what the local dialect is, I suppose. Yeah. But we'll save that for the videos. Now, on to some good news I had today. Now, do you remember a while back I did a video when I talked through me going to the dentist for the first time in, I think... I think it's about 14... Is it 14 years? 2006. Well, 2006 to 2016, that's 10 years. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, 14 years. So earlier on today I had a call from the dentist because I had to be put on a waiting list um, after I had my first assessment. So I had to go on a waiting list and because the, world's, the world is still on pause, uh, that waiting list was a little bit longer and today I got a phone call saying that I can get my teeth worked on finally after being ill for so long and you know, kind of conquering my fear of the dentists and, you know, all the stuff that fear and all that entails. Yeah, I could finally get my last bit of, uh, I suppose, closure in a way. Uh, my last bit of treatment for my recovery kind of thing, because what was most important when I was recovering is supposed to stay alive. Uh, and then it was trying to eat and put weight on and letting my hair grow and getting my mental health in check and getting over grief and learning to be a wig maker and all that kind of stuff. I've talked about that on my video previous to this. Uh, yeah, talking of my video previous to this, I... Because, I mean, the video previous to this, if you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here. Uh, that was my very structured and quite cathartic uh, tale of, not tale, it's not a story, it's not a story of fiction, my account of alcohol addiction from the very start to where I am now. And yeah, so where was I going with that? Yeah. Anyway, I'll recap. So yeah, I thought I would make like a bit of a a lighter mood to this next video because that last one was quite pretty heavy stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking about it a bit more now actually, so perhaps I should stop to think a little bit more after the two videos. Because yeah, that, that last one, it was over an hour long and yeah, that's where I was going with it. I didn't quite expect the um, like the messages of love and support and like not just on YouTube I mean on my my my, um, my other socials like Instagram and uh, Twitter and Appy uh, I didn't quite expect like the volume of people that got in touch with me to say you were really good to do this or I resonate with this or Also, you know, like just people saying, 
you know, that's such a massive achievement. Me personally, I'm trying to come around to the, the to accept and that yes, it is a massive achievement. Well, yeah, coming back from almost death, that is a massive achievement. And you know, the, the stuff I've done in five years, trying to say that without sounding really arrogant or conceited, but yeah, it is an achievement. But with everything that I do in life, I seem to see it as a it's like a process or like tick list to like some like all these lists of things that I need to do and in order to get to where I want to and need to be in life, I kinda of go through this list and think, right, okay, that's that done, that's that done, that's that done, that's that done, that's that done. Without sometimes taking a moment to breathe. <laughs> breathe. And uh, maybe saying to myself, yeah, those are really massive achievements. But I suppose that's because I wasted so much of my life and years of my life where I could have been growing a bit more. But I suppose it's a bit like me saying, I want to get through all these things because I want to make up for lost time. Because that just filters through everything that I do in life. Because... I never like to be idle, I never like to dwell on things too much. I just think, right, okay, that's happened, I accept that. Take whatever I learned from it and move on. Or how can I do better the next time sort of thing. You, you know what I mean? Well, I hope you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, you know, feel free to sound off in the comments. Uh, yeah, I don't really like to sit idle, so I think now perhaps if I just take little longer durations of time to sit and say, yeah, that is, or these are huge achievements that you've made and continue to make. Because it's all very well me, you know, saying to, to you guys, you know, take the time, reflect on it. Why do you feel this way? It means absolutely nothing if I can't do it for myself. So I'm slowly learning to can I sit with memories and feelings and think about what they mean to me and how I can best work through them and like move forward and onwards and upwards, hopefully without picking my nose. <laughs> yeah, and also the UK has announced that by June, <laughs> this is the this bit that's really made my week. Uh, by June, we'll be able to hug our friends and families, and I, oh, I cannot wait. I'm really envisaging, like, me giving huge hugs to people, because I just love to give hugs. Yeah, it's the thing that I've been, well, one of the things that I've been missing the most, that, not just hugging people, but, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just looking at my, my lips in the viewfinder. Why? I don't know why, but my lips always seem to look orange, and I don't wear orange-coloured lip balms, and I don't wear lipstick, so I don't know why my lips seem to be stained orange. I've not been eating turmeric or anything, or, you know, smearing my lips with tomato puree, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to hugging my friends and family again, and being able to go to their houses for meals and talk about anything and everything. Uh, talk with, you know, my husband's side of the family where I can talk with his granddad about food because he's Italian and he cooks oh, amazing Italian food. Oh. I'll try and take photos the next time I'm there, okay? Uh, and then me and his grand would just talk about everything, like, you know, recent news, I don't talk about politics with anyone, but she likes to talk about them. I just listen. I don't respond. Uh, and then we talk about, like, old times that she's had when she was younger. Uh, I love, I love, 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 love listening to old stories, like, of what happened when people were in their youth or, you know, like, you know, just stories from back in the day kind of thing. I love all that. Uh, I keep saying to her, you need to write a book about this. Or... I'll take notes and, you know, I'll 
ghostwrite it for you and get it published and but she doesn't want to so you can't really you can't really force that upon someone but whatever I do remember I will uh, definitely document it in my memoirs if I do sorry I got distracted by a notification on my tablet should have it turned off not professional yeah if, I mean if if I ever do write my memoirs when I become rich and successful. Yeah, just a moment to pause to think about what it would be like to be rich and successful. One can dream. Yeah, I will write it down and put it in my memoirs. So, yeah, so that kind of wraps up what I wanted to say for this video. I'm going to go off and watch and probably join in with a free mental health clinic. Because that's what I do a couple of times a week. It's all online, of course. Um, so, yeah, if you want to hear stories of, you know, iconic Cory characters. You, did I say that right? Iconic Cory characters. Bit of a tongue twister there and a bit of a... <laughs> in the throat. Yeah, so if you like all that kind of thing, uh, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're, of course, notified when I put these videos up. I do talk about other things because I'm multifaceted, so yeah, why not? So yeah, I shall leave this video here and let me know all those things in the comments and give me a, a like and, you know, share and all that good stuff and I'll catch up with you all again soon. Yeah? Take care, peeps. Bye.